Hi, my name's Alan. Uh, normally you find me here behind the desk at Queen's Cross. Today I have my microphone, because today I'm interviewing Santok, who's the head of Dudley Disability Service. Dudley Disability Service is a new service, and it is working very well. We're very pleased with the progress we've made in a short space of time. We will continue to focus on uh, embedding a holistic approach to the way we work with our clients, uh, continue to embed further co-production with our clients and service users and, and, and parents and children. And we are absolutely focused on enhancing the culture that will look at people over a longer term period, more of a holistic approach to their needs. The lives of local people with disabilities, we do believe, are changing and improving. Uh, I'm having more and more case examples coming through where people are gaining more and more independence, having more ownership of decisions about their support and where they want to be in future, and a greater degree of choice in that decision making. We have clients, uh, increasing number of clients in employment uh, and training and going into education, further education. One of the areas we've got to improve on is actually increasing the number of people with disabilities within apprenticeships, and that's a focus for next year for us. Does it include uh, mental health provision? Um, mental health provision at the moment in terms of health colleagues uh, integrated within the service, no, it doesn't. However, in the interim, what I have done is ensure that all my staff within uh, Dudley Disability Service have mental training on mental health issues that affect their clients and our clients. Um, I've ensured there's a, an approved mental health practitioner uh, present in my service, so somebody who's had training within the Mental Health Act, and I've offered that opportunity to all my staff. So what about dementia? This is a growing cohort of clients for us. We have, n we have increasing numbers of uh, clients with dementia. We have very strong links with regional health colleagues. We have a very strong interface with our older people's team but our future focus is to enhance the level of expertise and experience with my staff group to support effectively clients with dementia. Well, I hope you enjoyed that today. It answered a few questions for me. I hope it did for you too.